children present in entirely different ways, okay? Often it's the child that gets your jokes. <laughs> child, the child who displays a bad sense of humour. Mm. Um, the child who picks up your nuances, um, knows when you're in a bad mood or knows if you're sad, when you're trying really hard not to show it. It's also the child that might be persistently annoying in terms of the questions they ask which will be very different to other people's questions um anything that's out of the ordinary like that would be like a, a a red flag let's see what else that child can do things like you know academic stuff like early reading i've seen very gifted early readers who read fluently at four go to school at five and stop reading altogether because it's not what the other children are doing they norm reference they check what the others are doing they don't want to stand out and they they stop doing it so often it's not the teachers can't see it at all that is what so is so depressing when you see a child and it you know how brilliant they are and it's mm. not showing up in the classroom at all it's not the teacher's fault it's it's the curriculum and also just the way we educate, as, as I've said before, I mean, the fact that we believe that everybody thinks the same way, therefore they learn the same way. Oh. Do you so see... What, yeah, so looking for those things, but also asking the parents. I mean, a, a child, and I know the teachers simply don't have time either. It's, it's really tricky. Um, but asking if there's a child that's... Um, they're not picking up in terms of their ability in the classroom. You know, parents generally are not, I've discovered through my 25 years, they don't run around saying I have a gifted child unless their child is actually pretty bright. I mean, it's not necessarily fun having an intellectually gifted child um, in the school environment. And a lot of parents are very quiet about it. They don't want to be seen as, seen as pushy. They, you know want to belong they don't want to see they don't want their child to stand out they're very concerned about the child having friends um, there's a complete lack of understanding not just by the teachers but by the community and by parents that you know, this is the only time of our lives when we're at school and we're actually forced to be friends with people born in the same year as us I mean, I don't know about you, but I don't hang around with only people born in the year I was born. Mm. It's school. It's an artificial environment where we've decided in the last 200 years, I might add, that this is the way that we should be taught. Mm. Um, so, yeah, looking for this kid in the classroom that, you know, you might might be gifted, you might not know, they're not necessarily going to be the child who does well on the class tests. They are not necessarily the, going to be the child that, you know, stands out as academically gifted the children that stand out as academically gifted usually are not the very highly gifted or exceptionally gifted kids because for them the school is still interesting the subjects are engaging and they don't make simple errors on stuff that they are just totally bored with mm. and should they go for an assessment i just like yeah. uh... okay. <laughs> I hate to think that the way that we define giftedness is based on IQ assessments because it's much more than that. The only reason for me for using IQ is because sometimes that is the key to unlocking the changes at school that are needed. If we didn't need, like, you know, an IQ is just an estimate. We're not born with it tattooed on our forehead. It's not real. It's an estimate of ability based on a whole lot of different tasks, how you approach them, how you think, how you, you use your reasoning, your pattern analysis and things like that. It's also quite culturally bound up. Um, certainly it has a bad history of use in the past. But if I can use anything to put one more piece in that puzzle of who that child is, I will use it because it's the only thing we've got. At the moment. Um, and I think that so many parents that I see need to, need to take the journey with their child. Okay, so when the child, you know, they think their child might be gifted, they get this test done if they do. And then that just opens, that's just the beginning, okay? Literally look into your own self and also your family to see 
how that has knitted you together, um, even your choices of friends and things like that. It's just the beginning of a journey that's going to be you're on now for the rest of your life.